So there's a good chance that was going to happen. Stay. I don't know, man. This removable mounting putty doesn't seem very removable. Or it removes itself when you don't want it to. I know what you're thinking. Chris, you cut off her head. Well, actually, the poster cuts off her head anyway, so not too bad. Those are not real signatures, I don't think. Thank you, Service, for the Dawson's Creek cast poster. As you can see, it's covering up last year's Timberwolves team. Just as well, we're starting to forget who all these dudes are anyway, because they're all being disappeared. Michael Beasley, we wish you so well. In uh, Where'd you end up, the Suns? Somebody getting the Mavericks? I can't remember. I don't know. They're not on the Timberwolves anymore, so why should I care? Hey, we're going to get Nick Batum, though. Or it sure seems like we're going to. Because we really need a French dude. Hey, today is uh, Wednesday. Boy, this week has felt like it's gone on forever. Finally, though, it is hump day. Hope you're humping. 7.06 p.m., a little late for me. 88 degrees, a little hot for this late. It's supposed to get hotter. Back to the 90s uh, this week. Did it get hit to 90 today? We'll pull up the unofficial thermometer. Today's high, 91. Yeah, I missed it. Actually, 87 now on a current temperature. So, Dawson's Creek. I thought I had uh, another poster. I have the Desmond Pfeiffer one, which I'm not going to put up because it's racist. So, I may have to bring something from home after I get tired of Dawson's Creek. But I may never get tired of Dawson's Creek. Look how beautiful those people are. Look how much hair uh, Beaker has. What's that dude's name? Vanderbeek. Of course. James Vanderbeek. Can't see it. It's the top name. And how about Katie Holmes? Everybody's talking about Katie Holmes now because she's available. The stories she could tell but will be paid to not tell. Ah, uh, so. Apparently, you know, lots of excitement happening, but it all involves uh, poker, so it's not that exciting. It's weird, because I follow two people who are really into poker. One is my old roommate, Rich, who has had some success playing poker. You want to say professionally? I don't know. It's not his profession. He's a lawyer, but... It's weird because all his poker news is kind of in one place that is not the World Series of Poker, which is the big thing in Vegas that is what's really clogging my Twitter feed up with uh, poker stuff. Apparently it's going on right now. And the guy who I knew who was actually in it is no longer in it. But he's still kind of paying attention and still sending tweets along. And it's interesting. I am... I don't know if I'm good at poker or not. I've never played it long enough to figure out if I was good or not. Uh, I'm occasionally lucky. But it's so much easier to be good at poker when you get really good hands. It's when you don't get good hands and you have to fake it. That's when you find out you're, you're a true... And I don't play long enough to do that. It's kind of, I, kind of, I guess I kind of figured it would be a waste of money because I would lose. So... That doesn't mean I'm not interested in it when other people are interested in it, though. It just means it's a thing, and it's good to have. And I, if I knew, uh, if I had more real-life friends, I would probably engage in real-life poker with them. But the only friends I have are you on the Internet. Let me find... Speaking of service... He made a cryptic comment that I probably am just missing the context for. But he said yesterday, or was it this morning, flashing lights are normal. I'm sure I said something to trigger that, and now I can't for life me figure out what it is. But there aren't any flashing lights back there right now. Nope. And I'm too lazy to do anything about it. I'm feeling kind of lazy, as it is anyway. Man, yesterday I was here till what, like 9.30. It was all I could do to 
buy 10 pounds of rice, which I didn't cook. I just I was out of rice and I couldn't be out of rice, so I bought a 10 pound bag of rice. And then I went to Hardee's for one of their Spider-Man burgers, the grilled cheese bacon burger. Mm, my mouth is watering just thinking about it. They have that. You're not sure if it's like cheese or mayonnaise, but whatever it is, there's a lot of it on there, and it, it just makes it great. And you can get that as a thick burger, but I'm not that crazy. I, I, I only had the third pound burger. I kind of want another one now, though. But I won't. Um, man, I'm hungry. Is it because it's after 7 p.m. and I really haven't eaten much of anything today? Could be. What will I eat tonight? I don't know. But I can make rice if I need to because there is rice in the house. Got to have rice in the house at all times. Wow. I sound like I have some kind of syndrome or disorder. A disorder of an obsessive compulsive type, perhaps. They all went on to do such great things, didn't they? Actually, what's James Vanderbeek done lately besides appear in photos which make you go, oh, he's old? Really, what's Katie Holmes done? Wow, well, we know what Katie Holmes has done. And I'm done. And uh, who's the Jackson? Who we got? Joshua Jackson? What's he done? Has he done anything? I don't know. Ah, oh, yes, and Michelle Williams, of course. It's funny that they all have kind of fake signatures on there. I don't know what the deal is. I don't know. But I do know that in 1998, there was a Dawson's Creek dot com. I think it still exists. Remember to put the dash in there. This website is currently not available. Oh, that's sad. Warner Brothers at least was smart enough to pay for the domain. But if you go to Dawson's-Creek.com, it redirects you to this uh, landing page that says it's not around. But you know what that means? It may still live on the Internet Archive, unless WB is a boner about letting people crawl their site. No, it is available. Wow. So I can go and I can see the December 1998 version of this site. And it's so tiny. And it's got animated GIFs. Beautiful. Do you say GIF or GIF? I heard you're supposed to say GIF. But if I see the word G-I-F-T, I do not pronounce it GIF. So I just pronounce it GIF. In my mind, GIF is a peanut butter. That was random. What a, what a smart photo of these. You know, they kind of look... If you go to, the, to this page, the Dawson's Creek Web Archive page, kind of looks like all their heads except kind of rearranged. But Dawson is looking in a different direction, so that can't be. What a, what a beautiful, beautiful group of beautiful people. I saw three episodes of Dawson's Creek. Every time it's because I was with a girl who wanted to watch Dawson's Creek. That show was awful. Actually, I'll have to ask Kim how many episodes of Dawson's Creek she watched. I have a feeling she may have... You know, she watched a lot of Felicity. So, she wasn't above watching the WB when it suited her. The fact that she wrote Felicity Recaps... That was a... That was a big point getter. Because the only reason I watched Felicity... Was to make sense of what she was writing about Felicity. And when she stopped, I stopped. And then I think Felicity cut her hair. And then that was, oh, it was over. Forget about it. Not happening. So I still don't actually know how that show ended. But I, thanks to the magic of the internet, I could look it up if I had to. Did, did anyone else have any comments, which I'm now ignoring? I don't know. I got 30 seconds, so I'll, I'll try to, to log into YouTube really quickly and then wrap it up. What's my password? Can't you tell by the way I'm typing? Come on, inbox. No, it's empty. So I wonder if Otto got back to me or not. We'll know later. My time is up this week. Still got two days to go, so that means two more videos. So we'll be back tomorrow and then the next day, probably. I'll uh, see you then. Thank you for sticking around uh, through this one. God knows why.
Eventually, I will say something entertaining, and it will all be worth our while.